Chell, we can't start every vlog this way. We have to have some variety in our lives. <laughs> yes, we do. Way up north in the state of Alaska lives a man, his wife, and kids. And this dude, he lives like hella because that's the way he is. Good morning, guys. I hope you're having an awesome day. Uh, so far with Cory gone, there has been a lot of this. Huh, you're just attached to me. Or as Corey would say, you're my little shadow. She's just holding on and following me around. You wanna walk? You wanna walk? Don't tell me you're gonna walk for the first time when Dada's gone. She's really close to the gate, so she can almost reach it, but not quite. We crawled for the first time that Dada was gone. But let's not walk while he's gone too, okay? That'd just be too sad. So this is definitely happening right now. We are finishing our breakfast on the floor. Is it fun? <laughs> she ate, I ate with her at the table, and then we wanted to play some, but then we got hungry, and instead of, instead of setting up the whole table again, we just decided to eat on the floor, huh? It works. It, the penny's not up here, so she can't eat the food. And you're happy because you can play and then take a break and eat. Don't eat my arm. Are you getting sleepy? She has been napping so strangely with Corey gone. She wants to be like right on me. You okay? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Coughing's hilarious. Anyway, she's napping so strangely because she misses him so much. Since he left while she was napping, I think she's kind of worried that if she naps, I'm gonna disappear too, so. She's very clingy, which I love the cuddles, so it's okay. Sometimes mama doesn't get much done when dada's gone, but she gets to cuddle you, so yep, it's all good. I just keep telling myself that she's not gonna be this age and she's not gonna be this cuddly forever, so just take advantage of it. When she naps, I just lay there with her and I either nap with her or I like work on my phone or get on Pinterest. Pinterest is like a black hole. Like, do you guys relate? Like, I find myself, if you're on Pinterest, if you don't know what Pinterest is, don't look it up. Don't find out because it'll suck you in and consume all of your time. That's okay though. It's still fun. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Your little ruffles on your shirt are saving foods for later. Is that your secret stash? Okay, we won't tell anybody about that. This girl and our animals love this deck so much. If we leave Alaska, we better find a house that has a deck like this. It's amazing to have all the animals out here and have Chell out here and just not have to worry about the cats running off, Penny just going crazy in the neighborhood, and Chell, I mean, we don't have to worry about her out here. Of course, I always watch her. It's not like I just leave her out here and go do other stuff, but oh, it's nice to have a deck like this. You love it, don't you, baby girl? Pretty fantastic. The railing along the side too is really nice for her to stand up and practice walking. Okay, but honestly, I do have a lot I wanna get done today. I bought some blackout curtains for her room. Um, it's just a blackout material that I'm gonna put on the back side of her curtains to keep the sun from coming in because it gets really bright in there now. I think the sun's going down at like 9.30 p.m., 9.45, so. She's way asleep by then, and it's getting harder for her to sleep because it's so bright. So I need to do that, but I can't without Corey here. I mean, I can, I just have to figure out as a one parent household how to make this happen. I wish I could just have these guys babysit for me, but you know, they're not, they're not like super attentive to her, you know? She's just kinda laying there, not doing anything. Chell is playing outside, but she keeps like crawling into the house and then turning around and standing up and like trying to go back outside. And I always like run over to her and help her because I don't want her to just like fall. She's not quite strong enough to balance and, and get down on her own. Cause she tries to step down, not crawl down. She like holds on, I'll show you. She holds onto the door frame and tries to step down there, which is just, a little too much for me. So, she was doing it again and as I was running over to her, 
She didn't even make it to the doorway. She was just holding onto the wall and she lost her balance and just hit her head against the wall and like slid down the wall. It hurt so bad. So she's really upset and I just comforted her and I think she's doing okay now, but oh, it was scary, wasn't it? Yeah, it was kind of a scary thing. When I was two years old, I broke my arm. Of course, I don't remember it because I was so young, but from what I hear, I fell down a couple steps. Um, I was obviously walking pretty good by then, and my mom and I were leaving the building, and we got to the stairs, and she went to hold my hand. I was like, no, Mom, I can do it myself. I want to do it myself. And obviously I couldn't do it myself. So I fell and broke my arm. So I'm super, super paranoid about this little girl like doing things on her own. I think maybe she'll just never do anything on her own ever. How's that sound? You always have mama there to help you? No, I won't do that, but uh, I was so scared. It's like, it's funny because with Cory gone, it's like all on me. Like she's all my responsibility. Oh. Hello there, Sparta. What type of cat have you become? A planter cat? <laughs> Goofy boy. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna try and get done in her room. Right now, this is how we're trying to keep the sun from coming in. We have one of her blankets and one of Cory's robes over the windows. Not so good. So I bought this, this is the blackout fabric. So I need to cut this the size of the curtains and attach it. I'm not even gonna measure it. I might regret that, but what I'm gonna do is this. I'm just like pulling the curtain out and I'm gonna pinch this corner of my fabric with the, come on, come on. I'm gonna pinch the corners together like this and then kind of draw a line where it meets up there and then I'm just gonna cut it straight. I think that'll work. It'll get it close enough. Um, Chell Marie. What you doing over there? Try to go outside again? Well, the screen's closed this time, baby. You can't do it. All right, this is working, this is working. I got two pieces cut, one for each curtain. This little lady is uh, still kind of entertaining herself. I found four clothespins. I did have to steal one from the bag of carrots in the freezer, but that's okay, I got four clothespins. First, we gotta take these off of there which will be very nice. Oh jeez, oh jeez, okay. Whew, thought I was gonna break your room. Did you forget what your curtains looked like? She was just looking at them like, whoa. I forgot I had cool owls on my curtains. You're so used to seeing Dada's robe. Okay, I got one of them up before this little lady wanted me, but check out the difference. So the one on the left, obviously, well, kind of has the blackout shade behind it, I definitely need to sew it because it's drooping a little. But look at the light coming through that compared to that one. Like that makes such a huge, huge difference. Your room is gonna be so dark. It's gonna be good. Hopefully you'll start sleeping through the night again. You'll love it. I'll love it. The blackout curtains are done. Chell is asleep in bed. Tonight is the test of how well they work. I'm hoping she sleeps through the night again. She probably won't and that's okay, but we'll see. I'm gonna go ahead and say goodbye. The highlight of my day was getting those curtains done. Jeez, Penny. You okay? <laughs> um, I really have been wanting to get those done for a while, so it was nice to at least get them kind of done. I'll have to sew them later on. But anyway, I hope you guys had an awesome day. Leave a comment down below letting me know the highlight of your day, big or small. I don't care. It's all good stuff. I will see you tomorrow. Hopefully we will know about house options or what Corey finds. Um, I wish I could be there with him. Like it's crazy being this far away and having him do all that. But I trust him completely. I'm sure he'll find something awesome. So I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Saying goodbye to sunshine, saying goodbye to warm, heading to Alaska where ice will be the norm. So much to see, so much to do, and the best part is we're sharing it with you.